MVBs, MVBs. Welcome back to the Patreon page, or if you're new, then welcome, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this highly anticipated album reaction and review to Alt from the New World. So this is definitely one of my most anticipated releases of the year. It's finally here, and that's mainly because the singles. You know, I'm assuming that you've watched my reactions to the singles. They've pretty much been like almost song of the year contenders. The music is that good. This is their debut album lot of hype to it i feel like it's going to deliver it's a little short 34 minutes 53 seconds so let's get it that's all we need for chit chat so alt from the new world Here we go. Oh! Super cinematic. It's like Hans Zimmer gone fall. <laughs> Love the transitions from the music videos to this. It's breakdown though.
So I mentioned before, but I still feel kind of the same about this song. Like I mentioned that not my favorite by them, and I still feel like that. Oh, well, here's the fucking banger and a half though. that since I've already heard all the songs a bunch I'm gonna feel about the album at the end we'll see Something new? Yep. Here we go. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
The harmonics, man. I feel like Echoes is going to be next. That was a nice little breather. So I gotta admit, that's always cool. I had a lot of alt sound is just a cool sounding band. Um, but in terms of the, that sound of the, of the song, it's quite familiar to you know the rest of the singles. I like the overuse of harmonics on the guitars though. But it wasn't distinguishable enough for me. I just noticed that this song has like the most views on YouTube. 285,000. Next is Orphan Breed 262. 
song it's not my favorite but it's crazy that's i guess it has the most sane so probably that's the most successful but here comes my favorite let's fucking go pick it up after echoes I was just relentless with its energy. This fucking power stance, man. <laughs> That's my favorite song still. Let's see if they can top it though. This one is just dissect yourself. All right. One. Oh, we two step.
They love that spastic kind of sound in this record. Uh, Emanates. This course hits a lot better in the context of the record, actually. <clears throat> yeah, this song's hitting a lot more in the context of the record, actually. As a standalone single, I wasn't really blown away. That song's sick.
Okay, this is cool so far. to hear them play stuff that's not like the first four strings <laughs> guitar work is really cool in this one That was one of the most interesting songs on the record. Cycles.
Okay. Alt from the new world. Let's talk about it. So I couldn't help to shake this thought that I have about this alt record. It feels like it has the same impact that this album had in 2011 that I'm going to reference. And what I'm going to say is that I feel like alt from the new world is kind of similar to what Northlane discoveries did back in 2011. And that is a compliment because if you're an old core kid like me, you know, back in 2011, Northlane shook up the scene with introducing gent elements to a core scene. You know, there was bands like Periphery kind of doing it, but it was a lot more aggressive and heavy, right? Adrian's vocals were iconic and he's still in conversation as being one of the best vocalists ever graced the scene. I feel like that's going to be the same case here in 2024 where Robin's vocals are just so memorable they're so huge and so versatile that he's going to be in conversation as being one of the best vocalists that ever graced the scene too so that is a huge takeaway and there's a lot of takeaways that i have with this record and i do see that this record is feels kind of similar to how i feel about north lane discoveries and how i feel is that i like the sound and it's a solid album but it's not blowing me away so there are some expectations going into this record where, you know, I've heard a, a, pretty much half the record and I feel like a lot of people have um, where maybe I've just listened to the single so much that the album doesn't have that same impact. And now I'm trying to separate that and just listen to the album on its own, but I can't help to shake that feeling too. But listening to this album in full, I felt like the non singles didn't really wow me as much as the orphan breed or Aquila. So that was a little bit of a disappointment for me but but the outlier is definitely ephemeral i don't know if i'm saying that right i'm definitely not actually but that song was a big standout um i do i'm trying to listen to this record and i'm trying to feel or understand why i wasn't blown away and again it could be because i've already heard a bunch of the singles but at the same time it could have used a little bit more impact with the heavy moments or a little bit more impact with the melodic moments because majority of this record does hit the same kind of notes and feelings and i think that could be because of buster's mix now i do really like buster's mix but i think his style has been used so often in the scene that it doesn't really hit quite the same if you heard it so many times i feel like the production choices might be um is not original sounding enough to really break through this convoluted buster core sound so and because of those production ideas i feel like the guitar tones and all that although are so strong they're just not having the same impact and another reason why is because i feel like um you know 34 minute length um, a lot of the more heavy moments and drops are still really solid but they aren't blowing me away so when a femural came out and I listened to that. It had a lot of interesting riffs. It had a cool synth moments that were just different sounding the majority of the record. Because majority of the record does sound quite similar tonality wise. That when it goes heavy, it pretty much begins the album in a heavy tone. That it doesn't really wow me towards the end of the album. And when it goes melodic, like in Akila, Akila. There wasn't enough moments like that in the chorus that wowed me towards the end of the, of the record. So I guess where I'm getting at is that although this album is a bit dynamic, it's not as dynamic as I was hoping it to be. For being a prog metalcore uh, band, I wish it got a little bit more progressive with its ideas. I'm not saying it needs to be six minute songs or anything, but in terms of soundscapes and just really balancing out the heavy melodic soft moments because the fall moments which is pretty much 80 percent of this record sounded awesome but it didn't really blow me away for the 34 minute length so it's kind of similar to how i feel about north lane discoveries north lane is a band where a lot of people love the album singularity and discoveries but i do feel like most of those songs on those records kind of do the same thing there's a couple standout moments, a couple iconic vocal uh, moments, but overall I do feel like I love the singles, but I'm not really crazy about the albums. This is kind of the same boat for me. I really enjoy this album and it's a really solid album, but it didn't wow me. And instead, I feel like the singles here, Akita, The Orphan Breed, 
Echoes um, was solid, but ephemer Ephemeral um, are standout songs that I'm going to listen to a bunch. And even Emanate was actually a song that I enjoyed more in the context of the record. So more than half the record, or half the record actually, I'm going to put on playlist and just listen to a bunch. But in terms of the record, I wish it was a little bit more dynamic. I wish it got more experimental with its like um, melodic side and maybe even heavier side too. Because when they go heavy, I've already heard it a bunch of the singles that the non-singles didn't really wow me too. So to summarize my thoughts on this record, this is a solid prog metalcore record vocally so strong and i can see robin continuing to flex his vocals because since the ep he's already improved a lot as a vocalist that robin is going to continue to shine in the scene this album had a lot of good riffs it has good production although the production is familiar to the ear also enough different song structures to keep things interesting but sonically was hoping for a little bit more dynamics a little bit more experimentation but this is still a really really solid record and my rating for this is going to be 8.2 for alt from the new world Edit Burb Appearance. Hello. Yes, I'm currently editing this album reaction for YouTube. Um, I've listened to the album many times since, and my opinions are kind of still the same. Now, I do want to go over some of the criticisms that I mentioned, uh, basically calling it Buster's like mix a little bit familiar, which is still true, but the production on this is absolutely wild. Um, there's so much attention to detail with the different samples, the different kind of guitar uh, effects being utilized too, that it actually, on more listens, there's a lot more to dissect. It just tonality-wise, it does sound quite similar to, you know, Humane's Last Breath and Viel Giarta and the hundreds of other like fall projects. Um, I've heard so much that it's also a little bit fatiguing at the same time, but that could be just a me thing, right? Um, also, I see everyone saying this is like an album of the year and like album of the year contender, which is totally awesome opinion to have. Um, I really, really see this being one of the best albums of the year. And 8.2 for me is still a high rating. Uh, anything above an 8 just means like play that, put on Spotify, go buy it kind of thing. Like anything under an 8 is more like, um, yeah, it's good. You know, if you want to check it out, then kind of check it out thing. But above an 8, it's like, yeah, listen to it. So 8.2 and yeah, I thought Robin's vocals are again, fantastic in this. And I think alt, this album is such a strong debut that I just see so much more potential with the band. Um, alt has an extremely bright future ahead of them. And that's exactly what I'm trying to um, say with this album review here. Very, very strong debut album. Didn't necessarily blow me away. And that could also be because I've just heard the single so many times um, in the context of the record that it didn't really wow me. And The Orphan Breed is still my favorite song. So the non-singles weren't able to top that for me. Um, so there's some expectations. But still, if this is like a first blind or deaf listen, I guess, to um, From the New World and you're just checking this album out, I hope you get blown away and check them out because again alt has a bright future of them but if you enjoyed the album review then uh comment down below give me your thoughts let me know how you feel spice up my life also feel free to join the patreon again uh, patreon had this video for a week i don't usually do timed releases but if you do want to support the patreon i have over 160 probably even like maybe 200 album reactions so tons of hours of content on patreon been building it up for four years and it's been a great way to support the channel financially obviously and keep it afloat because of copyright and all that stuff but if you want to support the link is down below thank you for watching but on that i guess thank you for tuning in again till next time peace